John here for part three in this video series. I'm still in Dallas, Fort Worth area, Dallas specifically. I'm about to check out of my hotel and head to the airport flying to Atlanta instead of driving this time. This time, that's the change in the plan. If you haven't been following along on this nightmare of a trip, check out the last couple of videos. There was a lot of fun stuff too. It wasn't all a nightmare, but it did not go to plan. So I have to go to a mailbox and drop off some postcards, and then I am going to head to the airport and catch a flight to Atlanta, Georgia. I wonder if the hotel notices this typo. That should be 354. 254 is the next floor down. This one is correct. so cool watching these flights come in. That was this one, and there's a whole bunch of other ones coming in on the same path here that are gonna, they just, every couple of minutes they go overhead. Yeah, this one should be next. And then this one, I might be able to see that one. So there's the Washington DC flight. that one way out there that's the Syracuse flight right here I could do this all day of course it'd be more fun if I was like closer to the airport I'm pretty close but I want to feel the breeze from these planes going overhead you can see right here I got four more coming in but I got to get to the airport myself Two postcards getting dropped off. Delta Airlines is two words. All the other airlines is one word. So they were probably about 20, 25 of us on that bus. And one weird thought that I had was, we're all together, we're all in close proximity. And in a couple hours, we're gonna be scattered all over the country. About thousands of miles between some of us. Maybe some people on that bus are gonna be in different parts of the world. I don't know, just interesting. Why does this airport always smell like sewage? What is wrong with this airport? This is one where they assigned me a vehicle. I don't get to pick one. So hopefully it has a USB port. Pretty slick looking car. It's a Hyundai Sonata. So this one, they give you a little form so you can note any scratches or damage. That guy was probably laughing at me when I got in. Oh man, my head hurts. Banged my head on the door and it bounced off and hit the ceiling. Like bumper bowling with my head. I have a headache now. All right, full tank of gas, 14,000 miles. This car's pretty slick. I like it. So I gotta go drop this off. Man, this is madness. I just had to back up because someone was going the wrong way in here. 
absolute chaos in there. Um, so I have a museum set up, so, well, set up isn't in my GPS. We're gonna take a ride in the opposite direction of my hotel. Usually I don't go to East Nashville because usually I'm near, heading towards like Alabama area, near the border. Um, so I'm going the other way. Well, this is gonna be annoying. So I got in the lumbar support, was like all the way up. I had to arch my back, really unpleasant. Um, so I went, moved it all the way down. And then a second ago, I must not have moved it down enough because I feel a lot of arch support, so I moved it down. I'm feeling it pump itself back up. The whatever is supposed to close the valve to not add support must be broken because I've got a lot of arch support right now. Okay, I think I fixed it. I put the arch support all the way off and then inched it up just a little bit so I have some arch or back support. Arch support's in your feet. Um, and it seems to be fine now. It's a nice car though. I've always liked Hyundai and Kia. They make decent cars. I never thought I'd say this in Atlanta of all places, but I'm glad to be out of the heat. It's like 15 degrees cooler here. It's still in the 90s, but much nicer. My favorite barbecue place in the country is up ahead here on the right. It's next to Turner Field. Right there, the Bullpen Rib House. If you're in Atlanta and you're going to Turner Field, I don't even know if they use Turner Field anymore. It's still here though. Uh, check that place out. It's the best. Quite the security coming in here. If you're wondering what's better, paper towels or hand dryers, the CDT, CDC has paper towels, none of those stupid dryers. viruses have been in this cabinet. Hey, I've actually sold one of these. This is the Osborne 1. I think it was the Osborne like 4 that I sold. I don't remember though. Osborne sounds familiar and it had a detachable keyboard just like that. I'm not touching it. How to avoid the Zika virus? Avoid mosquitoes. That's how you avoid mosquitoes. I don't know who signed that, it doesn't say it, but the funny part is I have that same exact tote bag. It just has Liquidity Services logo branded on the middle. When someone went to this protest, I wonder if they knew that their sign that they quickly wrote up would end up in a museum. They were also hungry, so they took a bite out of it. Okay, this one's kind of funny. Pause if you want to read the whole thing. The gist of it is flight attendants on a certain flight kept having mysterious red spots on their skin. Worried that it might be blood, the CDC got involved and figured out that the uh, life vests that they used for their demonstration said demo only in red. And it was the ink from that that was getting on their skin. This picture looks like it could have been from the 50s, but look what it says. It's a little bit more recent. I would love to have a banner like this in my collection in the warehouse. I do have some COVID collectibles. I really try to get the vial that my vaccine came in, but I have, um, this is why if you're ever smoking a cigarette or on fire, you should wear a mask. That way the smoke goes to your eyes instead of other people. Anyways, I've got, um, a Dawn dish soap bottle filled with Purell when they just started. Whoever can supply bottles to them, they'll take it. And a few other things. <laughs> this is the second iron lung I've seen this week. Something I've never thought I'd have to say before. So is 
it safe to be breathing right next to this? Maybe if Joel knew this was going to be a museum, he would have practiced better penmanship. I could fill one of these up in the morning. Oh, this is water. Never mind. the same silverware they have over here. Finally, some good old-fashioned leaded gasoline. I wish I was artistic enough to hand draw an accurate map. The pedo jet was invented and refined by the U.S. Army for CDC field use. Under intense pneumatic pressure applied by the operator's foot, the vaccine shoots into the patient's skin in a fraction of a second. No thanks. Not a fan of needles. That looks so much worse than a needle. Imagine being a postal carrier and seeing this. Hey Ron, we need to confiscate your cell phone. It's gonna go in a museum now. Oh, the same guy even did a Mount St. Helens thing in 1980. I love that they just used a jam jar, of all things. Being with the Red Cross, I get cool t-shirts like that too. Except we don't get a, as cool of t-shirts. When I show up to a disaster, I don't get like a concert tee for it. They should start doing that. Did they make their own packs for this? Or is this supplied by the tobacco companies? They have a smoking machine. Look at that. You can tell this person's a smoker because she looks really cool. Oh, there's the machine at work. <laughs> I love how some of these books are encased for protection and others are just kind of stacked up. This book is $6 on Amazon. If it gets ruined, you just buy another one. I'm not sure why they have a whole bunch of shoes here, but these ones are kind of awesome. Well, that was fun. I almost walked out with my visitor badge. Completely forgot I was wearing it. Um, I told the security guard that they need a gift shop, and he said they used to have one, and they took it away, which is kind of a bummer. But if you're in Atlanta, the CDC Museum is pretty neat. It's free to get in, free parking. You just have to go through a whole bunch of security checks. You know, those are only held on with zip ties. Could make a good souvenir. Feel like I wouldn't make it out of this place with it though. Now I'm at Killer Burgers, which according to Google is the seventh best burger in Atlanta. So the CDC museum was pretty cool. I think I would have been disappointed if I paid to get in. But for free, I enjoyed it. Just had to search the car, check my ID, do a cavity search, and I was in the door. Um, some really interesting stuff. Took me about an hour to go through it, and I did not read everything. I skipped most of the reading and just looked at the stuff for the most part. So I'm meeting people at this restaurant. I'm the one who picked out the restaurant. I'm the one who gave them the address, and I went to the wrong one. I didn't realize that they have multiple locations. So I am 23 minutes away from where they are. And we were supposed to meet 12 minutes ago, so I'm guessing they were waiting for me. Fun. I concur, that was the seventh best burger in Atlanta. I'm assuming it was a really good one. I, it's the best burger I've had in Atlanta, but I haven't been to all of the burger places in Atlanta, like Google has. So anyways, I'm going to head to the hotel now. It's going to be a really long drive, so I'm probably going to get in pretty late. And uh, that's probably where I'm going to cut it with a hotel room tour because I'm going to be tired when I get there. And I've got an early morning tomorrow. So, driving to my hotel. Not very far from the restaurant at all, and I just stumbled upon something that I need to get out and look at. This house is amazing.
There's more, they have paths in here. I hope they're okay with me stopping and filming their house. This is so cool. So a tree must have come down here. Thankfully it didn't take out their house. They have down lines here, but look at this. And it's still going. Wow, look how close this came to taking out the stuff. Oh, this is the stump right here. So it must have went across that way. Love the down power lines. There must have been some storm here. This is the second down tree that I saw blocking it. Well, this one's not blocking the road. The other one's blocking the road. You have more over here. I'm assuming these lines are not live right now. This is what I aspire to be. I want my house to be just like this. Look at all this junk. I love it so much. Got a mail slot here. I love everything about this. There's another camper. Cardinals, this is so cool. There's nothing on Google Maps showing that this is here other than like the street view where you see it. A lot of times these will become tourist attractions when you see houses like this. And so you can see them on, on the map. The garage is full. So neat. There's a, a bunch of stuff in the median too. Not as much. United, we say? I don't know, I think it's supposed to be stand. Oh, S-T-A-N-D, the rest is down there. The neighbor's house is empty, but they've got a little setup coming up the driveway. A little more over here too. That was so cool. There was a lady in the garage. I was hoping she'd come out and talk to me. I was standing at the end of the driveway. Um, I stopped filming when she was in the garage because I feel like it's weird filming someone's house. But I was, I want to know about this. Like, what's the, the motivation here? I've seen houses like this. I saw one that was made of beer cans, just beer cans all over the place. It was really cool. I don't remember where it was, but you could you know on google maps it would say beer can house in that spot there's nothing on google maps here this is really neat i'm gonna have to save this address just so maybe i can do some research later 2328 oakview road northeast in atlanta if you're ever in the area and want to check that out or want to look it up on google street view it's cool because you can i am struggling so much with the seatbelt do it in a minute you can go and look with street view in previous years when they came through and took pictures and you can see the progression that's really cool i want my house to look like that it's probably for the best that she didn't come out and talk to me though because i probably would have sat there and chatted with her for several hours and i need to get to my hotel so let's do a quick room tour so i can go to bed because i am tired Pretty nice looking place. Uh, we've got my parking pass for the CDC, uh, non-smoking placard, but I brought those. Those weren't already here. That would be weird. Uh, pretty nice furniture, king size bed. That is better than Chicago. Not as nice as Dallas. Bathroom area here, second bathroom, shower. Is this just dry? Oh no, that is a stone. Looks like drywall from back there. Um, decent place. I'm happy with it. It's got a mini fridge. I think it's my bedtime. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this is the last of this series. But if you want to see more, there's always the main channel where I'm going to be going to an auction tomorrow. So anyways, hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Okay, this is kind of cool. So I opened this up. Oh, it's a cabinet. Maybe the fridge is supposed to go in there. And it's got these little roll-out drawers and this. But what is this thing? 
and I figured it out over here. The TV stuff you put in right there. How awesome is that? I've never seen that before. All right, that's it.